Good morning, this is Dr. Matt Josie at Josie Family Orthodontics in Blainsburg, Virginia. I always like to show off uh, some cases that illustrate great points. And uh, I wanna show you Channing. Um, Channing came to us when he was eight years old. He was referred to us by his general dentist. And when I saw him, uh, the family knew that they were gonna be moving away 10 months later. Um, but there was something that we really had to address right away. Uh, and we got it done within nine months. So I wanna show you what that is. Now, when we talk about treating kids at a young age, like eight or nine years old, there's a couple of reasons why we wanna treat them then. One of them is problems that interfere with the growth of the jaws. But the other big reason is problems that interfere with where the adult teeth are coming in or, um, or problems that may lead to extraction of teeth later because of really severe crowding. So let me show you uh, what was happening in Channing's mouth. So he was referred because of this tooth right here, which is the upper left first molar or the six year molar. And it was coming in underneath of the baby tooth that's right in front of it. And it's actually starting to resorb away some of the roots of that baby tooth. Now, this, uh, when this picture was taken, he was actually six years old. He didn't actually make it into my office until he was eight years old. Um, and so the situation had gotten worse. So this baby tooth right here is about to be lost. It's wiggly and loose because this adult tooth has come in underneath of it. And so uh, we need to kind of rescue this adult tooth. We need to push it back in the mouth so that it can get out of the way of this baby tooth. And this baby tooth hopefully can stay in the mouth and maintain the space that it's taking up so that there's gonna be space for the adult tooth underneath of it. Now, in addition to the crowding, this is essentially crowding in the back of the mouth, Channing also has crowding in the front of the mouth. So he has his front two teeth in, but there's not enough room right here for the next tooth to come in, and there's not enough room right here for the uh, tooth on the other side to come in. So I don't have a great picture of what I did here, but um, you can see from this x-ray, this x-ray was taken about six months into treatment, and I've completely rescued this tooth in the back. It is completely uh, back of the baby tooth now, but there is not a lot of baby tooth left. The roots are pretty much all destroyed from uh, what happened here and we've made space um, for these next two teeth to come in. So I put a few braces on, two on the front two teeth, I put a few braces on the baby teeth in the middle, and then braces on the very back teeth uh, to do all this. Like I said, this all happened in about six months, and this is how I kept it. So Channing's getting ready to move away. He's moving away uh, later this month, and so uh, we put a little retainer on the back side of his two front teeth so that they'll stay together. That'll preserve the space for these two teeth to erupt. And then we put a retainer in back here because I suspect that he's gonna lose this tooth very soon. It's really wiggly and loose. And so even if he loses this tooth, this retainer will hold all of the space that we've created and there'll be plenty of space for all of his adult teeth to come in. So now overall, this was a really great phase one treatment because we prevented crowding in the back of the mouth from getting worse. We resolved crowding in the front of the mouth Channing's gonna have space for all of his adult teeth to come in. He should avoid any extraction of uh, permanent teeth later on down the line. And we got it done in about seven months and he's all fixed up and ready to go for when they move away. So a uh, really great treatment. Here's a happy Channing. Uh, sorry, here's a little before and after uh, that you can see. And then here's a happy Channing at the end of treatment. And we had to say goodbye to this sweet boy and wish him the best of luck uh, in his future. So. Thanks so much for listening. The uh, consultations are always complimentary and we love treating young kiddos uh, when, when the situation has a need. Thanks so much.